If you own a Mini Orion drone and you want to get a little more enjoyment out of your flight experience, this video will cover some things that you might want to pay attention to. First, we're going to talk about battery life, and there is nothing that makes a drone more fun than being in the air. To be in the air, you need battery. So, first thing is if you're going to use the factory 650 milliamp battery, you're going to want to make sure that you, as soon as you turn the drone on and get it ready, you want to hit the light button to turn off the pod lights. That'll save a little bit of juice. Also, you want to make sure, of course, that you don't use the photo or video if you're just wanting to fly around and have some fun. But not only that, make sure you take the SD card out because the SD card has to mount every time this thing is powered up. That takes juice. So taking the SD card out will get you those extra little bit of flight time. Uh, you know, it might only be 30 seconds. I don't know. But if we want to eke every little bit out because you only get five or six minutes, you're going to want to take that SD card out. Okay, so you've got your lights off, you're not running video, but you need some extra flight time still, or say you wanna run video and get a good six or seven or eight minutes out of it. You're gonna to need to upgrade your battery to do that. So, I picked up a 3.7 volt 1000 mAh battery. It's a, a 20C a battery. The factory battery, of course, is 650 milliamp, 15C. Now, I'll get to the C ratings in just a minute. But this really increases the flight time. I'm getting uh, eight and a half, almost nine minutes, about nine minutes without video. If I'm running video off and on, I can easily get eight and a half minutes in the air with this battery. So it makes a huge difference. Now, uh, a couple things that I want to cover about an upgraded battery. Number one is the C rating that I just mentioned. Okay, so this factory battery is a 15C. This is a 20C, and it's, the C rating is how much burst current the battery has. So, 15 to 20 is not a huge step, especially if someone's tested it, like me. And I've ran this battery over a dozen times, well over a dozen times. No problems whatsoever in this unit. Works great. That said, you have to be careful, because there are some 1000 mAh, 3.7 volt batteries that are, I've seen them up as high as 35C. 35C is almost a guarantee you're going to fry something, if not instantaneously, uh, very quick, because these are tiny, tiny little can motors in here. Not only that, but I mean, you know, it's a cheap drone, so we've got cheap little wiring. This is our antenna, uh, but cheap little wiring. I'm sure the speed controller is the cheapest possible solder ever made, so that's something to keep in mind and be cautious of when you're buying a battery. Uh, personally, you can go up to 25 maybe, I don't know. Personally, I'm sticking at 20C since we start with a 15C. Now, that said, you're also going to want to make sure that you buy a battery that this is called a JST connector. Now, if you can't understand my Southern, I will put the letters in the description, but that is a standard JST connector. So just look for a 3.7 volt LiPo with a standard JST connector. Now you'll notice on my battery, there are two connectors. I want to caution you, if the only charger you have is the factory charger, the little USB charger with the little dongle, do not buy one that has two connectors. You want to find one, and they're available, that only has one connector. The reason I bought, bought a second connector is because I have a balancing LiPo charger that accepts this little white connector that's on here. So I can use my factory connector to charge my factory batteries and I can charge this one at the same time using this charger. But be careful because if you have one with this has a little circuit in it and this is designed for charging and that is designed for output. So you don't want to charge on your output on a battery that has two of these. So just make sure if you have the factory charger only you search for one that only has one just a standard JST connector with no other wire. Okay that covered. Covered the C rating. Covered the uh, battery sizes and things. Mounting it, I want to cover that really quick. Obviously, if you have one of these, you know, get a little slot, you stick your battery in, it clicks into place, and that's all good and well. Problem with the larger battery is that it won't fit, especially now they make these, I think I've seen 1200 mAh. Have trouble finding those at 20C, but uh, 1200 mAh obviously wouldn't even begin to go in here. So, what I did 
show you the bottom of this, I made a little battery holder. And I made that out of these little cable. These are computer cable Velcro wire holders. Here's one. It's all stretched out. And I mean, you can make it whatever size you want. And they're designed to hold cables, but they, I mean, they're really stout once they are once they are wrapped around themselves and you can get these best buy i think i got these at best buy office depot anywhere that sells computer stuff will usually have some sort of a cable organizer here's that same organizer on a cable so you see very easy to take off and put on you just wrap them around themselves okay so what i did was i took i don't know if this is the speed controller or just a camera controller i assume the speed controller is in here as well but i just wrapped it around that just that little carrier there just wrapped it around so I can take my battery and I can slide it in. Now, you may be worrying, well, you know, that doesn't seem like it would stay on there. Trust me, it does. If you tighten it down as much as you can, it does. I uh, was in a 14 mile an hour wind gust the other day. Don't, don't fly if it's that windy. It's bad, bad. And I ended up having to cut power because I was starting to drift towards a highway and I didn't want to risk the chance of landing on a car or something driving down the road so i cut power i went into a large oak tree fell about 50 feet and i mean it hit you know, about like that As a matter of fact the only real scuffs that i had out of that were there and on one of these pods yeah there's just some scars there from hitting the branches and i'm pretty sure i hit every branch on the tree on the way down but that did not rattle out the battery. If that's not going to rattle out the battery, you're not going to have any problems. Plus, I mean, like I've flown this over a dozen times with that battery and never once has it. I've had some bouncy landings. You know, your autopilot sometimes will come down a little bouncy. It's never popped out. So that's a good way to keep your battery, your upgraded battery in place. Next, I want to talk about the camera. Uh, these cameras, you know, they're okay. They're not very stable. You get a lot of wavery and shakiness in the video just from the flex on the drone. Plus, I think there may be some electrical interference or something like that because uh, there's no shielding on this speed controller. Your camera is right here. I mean, you just got some waves, but you can take care of a lot of the jitter. And you see, I've done that by putting basically a packing peanut. I just took a packing peanut, compressed it down, and slid it between the fuselage and the camera head and it actually works pretty well it makes it's not going to go from shaky video to non-shaky video but what it does do is it can make signs and things like that a lot more readable uh, you know there's still going to be a little jittery but it's not going to be as bad so that's a really cheap improvement i mean you know these are in lots of packages usually free and I found also that these corn-based ones that squeeze and compress really well are best. Okay, so that covers the camera. Finally, we're going to talk about one of the banes of the early existence of this thing with me was getting this lid opened up. I had problems because the tab here was hanging on the frame. So I just took a knife shaved down a little bit on this tab and now my lid stays in place without any problems in fact it will stay kind of open i probably overdid it a bit but that's another modification that you can make so you don't have to pry on that lid and risk sticking something in there maybe scratching your screen or something like that anyway those are just three quick little modifications the only one that costs any money is upgrading that battery six dollars and fifty cents off ebay for that battery just remember to get one with a JST connector. And if you don't have a regular light bulb charger, make sure that it only has one cable with the JST connector. 3.7 volts, any MAH that you want. I don't recommend going above 20C. You can risk 25 if you want to, but you know that's on you if you burn up your stuff. 20C seems to be perfectly safe for these drones. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day and have fun flying.